I got I got to ask you. So you start the tournament. There's six thousand entries. You've had a lot of success. Actually, we've battled back in the day when playing a lot online, and I was streaming for several years. And you know, you've you've had some big scores. What what was it like to actually hit a million dollar score and and, and two point seven million? Like what what is the feeling when it when it's happening? When you start thinking about this, like that it's real because you're a ship leader, hundred hundred and three big blinds. Going to the final table, you see the prize pool. You know how how was talk me through that experience of, of playing for this type of money. Yeah, it was it was crazy. So um, it, it was basically at the end of the series, also. So yeah. I had a, a not a bad series, but not a great series. Uh, so you know, I was I was uh, hoping for it, uh, and then uh, yeah, there were multiple day ones. Um, so I played four bullets. Um, and then day two, you know, when it gets close to the end and everybody starts tanking because it's close to the bubble, you kind of, you know, start feeling, okay, this is a real thing. Uh, I mean, I've been there before, but this one was very special because, well, first of all, it was streamed, which makes it like, like crazy. Um, yeah. but, uh, yeah, you just start feeling, like, okay, okay, let's, let's, you know, focus 110% and, uh, let's take it take this down and get lucky, you know? And, uh, yeah. And then on, on the, the final table, I was, uh, I, like, like I said many times, I don't think I, I ran like super crazy good, but I had all the good spots, which I think right. when it comes to ICM, it's, it's almost more important than having the good hands, except, you know, winning a massive flip or something like that. But just every spot was perfect for me, you know, uh, and everything went as, as basically as good as it could, you know? Um, and it was crazy. Like, I was I was super focused and then you know heads up three hands it's over and it's just like whoa like it's uh it's it's an it's a feeling that you almost never have you know it's it's not it's not just about the money it's it's just like it it changes a lot you know just it changes everything because it's it, it, for yeah. me it changes everything like for other people you know when they win the big eleven when you're playing like two dollar tournaments or something it's it's kind of the same thing like it, it just propels you to you know it's like a new thing it's like a new feeling and i genuinely know like money it really is one of those things like i know it's not you're not you're not a guy like i know you didn't go out and buy a lambo or you know do something crazy because like that's not who you are but was there anything did you upgrade do any kind of spending at all with this or is it literally like nothing's changed for you uh, at all i mean in, in the respect i i bought a space heater because it's cold here and i bought like socks and shoes and a jacket <laughs> nice all right uh, so you got a couple of things couple, yeah, like, a couple jamie staples buys art like i was you know when he yeah, hits a big yeah, score yeah. did you buy i was wondering if you bought like an animal a new animal or something yes least, yes like, we actually big. did uh well my girlfriend already she you know she, she uh she's online a lot like looking for animals that you know need a good home uh this yeah. one we didn't adopt or anything it's uh it's just a, a horse um that you know was basically used for breeding so yeah. she's like 15 years old now and you know we just wanted to give her a a nice retirement uh, and she's pregnant as well so we have uh, a little baby horse coming uh and wow. yeah that that's basically it and you know we're going to renovate the house we're going to improve like the stables all that stuff so you know mo most of the money always goes to the, to the animals that's all it's always been like that just now we yeah. can do like we can do everything like re very nice you know and uh, the animals are gonna be living a little better a little better yeah, equipment exactly, but a little exactly. more food a little more everything good that's yeah, interesting yeah, yeah. what year did you actually start playing and who got you into poker how did you get into poker oh uh, i started playing when i was like 16 i think um and i, I or like 17 um just by watching um Poker Night, After Dark, all that stuff. I, I love that shit. Like, you know, the the classic Ivy, yep. uh, Dwan, all that stuff. Like, it's just, it was just amazing, right? So that was on TV in Belgium, like, after midnight. Um, so I was just watching every episode, uh, and I loved it. And I started playing, like, uh, you had, like, regional free rolls on uh, Full Tilt Poker. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I just lied about my age and in an account and played free rolls. How old are you? Uh, I think I was 17, so, you know, just, like, one, one year uh, before it was legal. And then... Uh, How old are you now? Uh, now I'm uh, 32. I'm from 32, 91, so, yeah. 15 33. years ago, you started playing, and, like, okay. So, yeah, you're a little... You were a little after the original boom, like... Oh, yeah, three, yeah. Oh, I, was, I was, like, I was railing uh, Victor Blom 
versus Dwan and mm -hmm. all that shit on on full tilt when I had no money, right? So like I, I'm a little bit after the when the games were like the best, I would say online. So like there was no yep. more Paradise Poker already. It was just like full tilt stars, uh, right? UB, I think no, that went down later. So yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, I, I was right after the boom, but it was still good, you know. But I I had no clue what I was doing, and then uh, I started. I, I kind of like stopped playing. Um, I quit school uh, when I was eighteen, and uh, I started working at a bar. Does you're off, you know, uh, where my name comes from. Uh, and then I became an alcoholic at like twenty twenty one. I had to quit working at the bar, and then uh, I started playing poker again because I needed to make some money. Uh, I gave that a try. It kind of worked out, but not like crazy, crazy um, results. Yeah. And then I joined uh, Pokar, uh, which is a stable. So I joined a stable. Uh, I started at, I think, $11 tournaments uh, and like $3 rebuys and stuff like that on stake. And yeah, that's how it started. You know, so like, I think I grinded like reasonably low stakes for like a year, a year and a half. And then I kind of... Start running like good at the right spots, you know. That's I think that's also very important. Uh, For sure, like you know, because I, I think I was winning, but like a good winning poker player, even before I was like winning a lot of money, I was just like I wasn't really on a downswing. But you know, like you said, like the spots, you know, I, I'm I've there's like a, a point where I just start getting lucky, basically, and uh, that's that's why I'm here you know how do you feel you deal with result oriented how, how do you feel you deal with highs and lows do you find yourself pretty stable like uh, if you're doing well or not because you talk about a big down swing losing 800k straight because there's a backer involved right whether it's your yeah. friend or it's a there's a lot of emotion it's not <clears throat> it's 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 a it can be difficult yeah <clears throat> well how do you feel you do with that with the um, low, like on the up and downs do you feel you, you're pretty stable it's it's fine like i i do i do get tilted uh, like even before I won my 2.7 million score, I had like kind of a, you know, bad couple of months where I just couldn't win a fucking hand, you know, you know how it is. And then it's just, it kind of starts getting to you a little bit and you're like, okay, am I actually like winning? You know, that that's always like, yeah. when you, when you start asking that question, you know, like, okay, uh, I might as well like make sure I'm a winning player. Right. So, you know, you put in some extra work. And you're like, okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. And you just keep going. You have to try and keep going, like reset every day. I think that's that's important because in the moment, like it's fine to, you know, you have to feel the emotion, you know, because otherwise, what's the point? You have to try and not like lose your mind when you lose. But yeah, you know, like you said, like when you lose a big flip to go out in 12th when first place is like crazy, you know, uh you're it's gonna hurt <laughs> like there's no there's no way around it like it, you're not like ah oh, you know tomorrow's a different day like it doesn't work like that right like you you gotta you gotta take yeah. it and uh i would say like embrace the pain uh and but reset like the day after you know like just try and you know just keep going keep going i, I think i think like the trophy thing is maybe just like one part of stuff they can do for the online uh thing because yeah. i think like it's always been you know, when it comes to glory, it's always been live. It's always been live. Like even you know, uh, W Coop. You know, like it's a world championship, but it's not. It's definitely not the same as a bracelet, right? Like, of course not. Now you have the bracelets online. I mean, I have a bracelet. You know, I have a bracelet. It, it still, it still doesn't mean the same thing. And the reason why it doesn't mean the same thing is because like there's not enough press. There's not enough like, yeah, like there's not enough push from you know, from the side st standpoint, like promoting these guys, you know, like, I mean, I'm not saying you should promote me, but like, if a random guy wins a bracelet, like you have to pump that guy up, you know, like, why not? Like it's a once in a lifetime thing. It's like basically free promo. And uh, I feel like there's so much wasted potential when it comes to, you know, the glory online, uh, because the times that it's like, completely anonymous is is gone right like on gg now we have real names which i think is good but like it's it's not like it was before it's just like oh screen name he wins one big tournament and he's gone like you know when you watch the 10k right like it's 
you know most of the guys. Like, okay, maybe not personally, but you've seen this name before. You've seen this name before. You you Google him. You see, oh, he won a WPT or something like that. Like, it, it's these guys are like the best in the world. You know, they, they play the 10K every week, and these guys are the best in the world. Yeah, and nobody knows who they are. Uh, and it's not mm-hmm. their fault. I think it's just like there's no, there's still like a little bit too neg- too much negativity about like. Yeah, the glory of online poker, man. I, I think it's, uh, you know, I, I, I made it myself, you know. I just call myself the greatest online MTT player of all time. And I just, you know, try and uh, yeah. not embarrass myself. And, you know, it, it's, I, I don't I don't want to do it myself. I want somebody else to call me the greatest online MTT player of all time. But it's not going to yeah. happen, you know. <laughs> you seem to march to your own drum. I mean, you do things your own way. How supportive were your parents when you didn't follow the traditional career path and decided to go not go to college and like get into poker? What, what about family and friends? Like, what was it? Was there resistance or was this uh, easy for you? Just like support all the way. Well, the thing the thing with me that like made it a lot better, especially you know for my mom, like to support my poker career, is because if I wasn't going to be successful, I was probably going to end up, you know, selling drugs somewhere. You know, <laughs> my, yeah. my, I, I never really had that, that, uh, you know, once I was 16, they kind of knew like, oh, this guy is not going to become a doctor, you know, <laughs> right. that's not, that was not really in my, uh, horizon. So like, th- I think they're, they're quite happy. Uh, I mean, they're very supportive now and they, they, they have been for a long time now, you know, like they always worry, of course, because it's not like a stable income, right? Like, and it's not. But they they don't really see it as like gambling or anything like that, right? I mean, it's just like okay, it's not a stable income, but it's, they, it's they, they, they they they're not like telling you to do something yeah, now. Obviously, things have changed. Well, yeah, yeah but I mean, the, the thing is like nobody, yeah, nobody can tell me anything, right? That's the problem. Like they they, they know, like you know, it, I was I was you know, you you couldn't tell me anything. So <laughs> they're happy I'm still alive and uh, doing good and happy, you know. 